Today on Alaskan Ballistics, 30-06 Tika T3X 22-inch barrel with 165 grain Hornady CX bullets, the new CX. Let's see how they perform. Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. My name is Chuck. Thank you for stopping by. Today we have the 30-06 Springfield Tika T3X with 165 grain Hornady CX bullets. Hornady has just come out with the CX bullet, and I think it's in response to maybe their GMX doesn't expand well at farther ranges, and so they're trying to get a little farther range out of it. Most of the bullets, the BC and the profile and the length of the bullet is very similar to the GMX, if not exactly the same. There are some calibers, diameters, uh, that the bullet is not the same BC. There's some that is more, there's some that is less. So 165 grains, about the perfect grain weight for 30-06. These are a very good performing all mono copper bullet, as you might expect, since it's replacing the GMX. And here is the ammo. Autofocus. Here is the ammunition. It's got a little redder tip with less orange in it than the GMX. That's how you can tell the difference. You can tell 30 out 6 Springfield case right there. Box says it's supposed to be going 29.40. We'll probably get a little bit less than that in a 22 inch barrel. Not too much, but we'll probably get a little bit less than that. Guys, check out the rest of the video. First chronograph, then penetration test. Here we go. We got a Tika T3X stainless. This is uh, my cameraman's rifle. And uh, thanks, Jason, for letting us borrow it. And anyway, uh, we got the new Hornady CX bullet. So, super performance, 165 grain. We're going to see how these do over the chronograph. And then we'll see how they do in a penetration test of some sort. Here we go. Twenty-nine twenty-two. Not exactly the speed I was expecting from Hornady Superformance. But this is a 22-inch barrel. I'm sure they use a 24-inch barrel, so. Here is our add-up slide. You can pause it and read it if you like with all the numbers. I think the, overall this is a pretty good load. Good foot-pounds of energy for a 30-odd 6. Here we go. Tika T3X stainless. 165 grain. 30-odd 6. CX bullet. The new Hornady CX bullet. Thank you, Jason, for letting us borrow your rifle on the channel. Here we go. We got two packs of bologna, a two by four, and ten water jugs behind it, or nine water jugs, or something like that. I might have penetrated everything. Who? <laughs> Let's see. All right, as is suspected, the bologna is blown everywhere. So was the second can. Looks like we had a dead center. I sit, hit a little bit on the side of the bologna because of, of the way it was angled at us. We had a dead center hit, and we've got a nice CX bullet. Went through all those water jugs, and it's in this soda bottle right here. The bologna is blown everywhere? Yes, the bologna is bologna everywhere. Bologna. Look at that. That's a perfect 30 odd 6 CX bullet 165 grain right there. I would say probably as deep penetrating as the as the uh, 165 as we tested before in the GMX. So if you were worried about switching from GMX to CX, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, it's feel back a little bit more than the GMX, wouldn't you say? Just based on experience and what I'm remembering in my brain, I could be totally wrong. But there you go. Hornady CX, nothing to laugh at. All right, here's that 30 odd 6 Hornady CX bullet. Let me show it to you up close so you can see it. There we go. 
go focus camera. All right, let's put it on the scale here. 163.2. So out of 165 grains, 163.2 is not too shabby. It's exactly what you'd expect from an all copper monolithic bullet at that distance. Let's see what we got. 0 0.610, so nearly double that direction at the widest point. 0 0.559, 0.592. It does look like it's widest. It does look like it's widest expansion. Is that 0 0.10 reading that we got there? And point, point 0.618. That's our widest expansion. So that is double expansion. Looks like it's going to be a good bullet. The real clue is what will it do at long range? Is it going to be like the GMX had a reputation for and not expand beneath 2300 feet per second or 2200 feet per second? Or is it going to be like the LRX and allow expansion out to five, six, seven hundred yards? Well, as you can see, that bullet performed well. We're really happy about it. Seems like it's just another GMX. It expanded a little wider than the GMX has in the past. So I'm happy with it. And if it's as accurate as the GMX is for my buddy who has this gun, then he'll be happy with it. Thank you, Hornady, for trying to improve upon your already great GMX bullet. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Join our MeWe. Join our Patreon if you want to keep the channel going. Those are the two best places to join. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.